Hello everyone, the day has come for me to make a very quick recap on the trading plan I shared with you, uh, what was the main idea behind it, how it developed and uh, if we had any opportunities to enter, how our, our trades worked out and uh, we will also talk a little about uh, what are my future expectations regarding that currency pair. So let's get started with it. Uh, what you can see on the screen now is the plan itself posted on trading view on the 12th of September and uh, first of all I want to say a few wor words about the idea behind the plan. Uh, you can see that uh, the pair, uh, this is the Great British Pound Australian Dollar Currency pair and as you can see the pair was in a huge uptrend for a very very long time. Uh, before reaching this area here, uh, this is a very strong weekly resistance area and uh, the darker red uh, square is a daily uh, consolidation area where uh, previously in the past uh, the price consolidated for a while on the daily time frame and then a new uh, downtrend has begun after an uptrend. So uh, my expectations here were to see yet another uh, bounce of those two areas and to see a nice uh, wave down on the H4 uh, breaking this uh, previous top and continuing uh, first to this uh, daily consolidation area here where you can see uh, this area acted both as a resistance and as a, as a support here uh, maybe have a um, correction from there and then to continue further down to this weekly support area which was our main uh, long-term target. We had another one here, uh, this is uh, another weekly support, it, this is target 2, but this is more like a monthly target so I wouldn't expect the pair to reach it for at least a few months. Uh, but still the main idea was to go short on this pair in the long term. Uh, let's see what happened so far on this plan. As you can see, uh, right after the plan was posted, we had a wave down. Then uh, the bulls tried to push the price back up, but uh, did not succeed. Uh, the price reached again to this previous top and from there so far uh, we're having a downtrend. Uh, even the previous bottom here was uh, is currently being broken so this is a good indication that uh, the plan is already set in motion. Now uh, regarding the uh, trades we took on it uh, I shared with you two live signals. Uh, the first one was uh, the first entry was taken here on this candle after uh, here I took the whips of the candles uh, and after this uh, sort of a square formation was broken I took the entry. As you can see the stop loss was placed above uh, those tops here. Uh, we had a very very nice move around 140 pips in our direction. Uh, since it was a long term uh, trade our uh, take profit target was further down over here Unfortunately, it was not reached. Uh, the bulls pushed the price back up and here it just uh, made a whip taking our stop loss and probably other stop losses as well uh, since I believe a lot of stop losses were placed above here. Uh, and this move was quite unexpected uh, to be that strong if, uh, after even uh, the price broke this previous stop as you can see here. But uh, those are the markets, um, I'm gonna talk a, a little bit about a mistake we did here, uh, so uh, hopefully you will learn something. Uh, just to mention the second entry which was shared with you uh, this week, uh, I took the entry here and uh, so far as you can see uh, the price is giving us around actually even more than 100 pips of profit. Again, uh, our take profit level is placed here, but I'm monitoring it closely. Uh, I'll just uh, switch back to the uh, down to the M30 uh, to talk a little bit about the first trade and then the current one. Uh, what was the mistake here? 
So the first thing was that uh, we should have cut uh, some percentage, uh, bring some percentage of the profit home, like around at least 60 to 70 percent, and move our stop loss at break even. Uh, this is uh, the uh, how to say it uh, trade management. So here we had the last bottom the price made. You can see after that it was broken, moved down, and a good point to close. Uh, some percentage around 70 of the trade was after uh, this here was broken This was uh, one of the spots where uh, we should have closed 60 to 70 percent and put our stop loss at break even or uh, If you miss that spot uh, the price actually gave you one more after uh, We can see that another bottom is formed here and then the price breaks it with a very strong candle, but quickly retraces above it. So another uh, good opportunity would be here. And if you turn the Bollinger, even here, it would be a good opportunity to close some percentage. Uh, this is still in profit of around 50 pips. So it's pretty good. Close 70%, uh, leave the rest floating with a stop loss of break even. Uh, we missed that. so. Our stop loss was hit here and I'm currently uh, monitoring our uh, trade, new trade on this pair. As you can see those uh, red lines have marked this previous uh, bottom the price made. It was broken and so far it's moving down. But if I see uh, some kind of a correction from here starting and breaking this uh, level, I would, uh, this time I would send you a sign out to close. Uh, 60 to 70 percent and uh, put the stop loss at break even uh, or else I'll wait for the price to reach this uh, first take profit level and I'll take some percentage there uh, this is it on this plan uh, I just want to say about the future expectations regarding it I expect uh, for the downtrend to continue uh, maybe we will reach this take profit level or a little bit further down to somewhere here let me mark it so you can see it and from there I would expect for us uh, to have a correction and then another move down inside of this daily consolidation area this is at least on the H4 uh, possible entry points would be uh, after this correction has finished somewhere here I don't recommend entering here, although there is uh, around 70 pips or 80 to this level, but uh, anything can happen. It is too late inside of this uh, downtrend, so better to wait for a correction and then look for a sell entry. That's all uh, regarding this recap and regarding this uh, trading plan on the GBP odd currency pair. I hope you managed to, cut, to catch uh, both live signals and I do hope you closed uh, the first entry on profit uh, we'll continue monitoring this plan and uh, I also have shared with you uh, a very good trading plan on the euro USD yesterday which uh, kind of already fulfilled at least uh, part of it fulfilled you could have caught some profits there uh, so uh, follow us on our social media profiles so you can get notified when a new trading plan is posted or something uh, else, some useful content from us. And uh, our team wishes you a profitable week.